This rumor was confirmed, whereupon the order to retreat was immediately ensued. The brigade major and I were astonished to learn about the sudden withdrawal. Before we would reach the camp on the right wing, the ladder was breaking up, lock, stock, and barrel. Huts and tents were on fire. Wine and brandy kegs were smashed open. The boozing Indians lay on the ground like cattle. In their drunkenness, the robbed and plundered to their liking. They rushed ahead, seized the Jaeger's rifles along with the Englishmen's muskets and bayonets. Whoever sought to resist was struck with a tomahawk or had one tossed at him. In this lovely situation, I was assigned the task of forming the rear guard. This was a set of circumstances where everyone else wishes to be the first to go. I am truly unable to report why, when everything went head over heels, the fort failed to mount a sally. Perhaps this was due to the fact, as we saw, that only one patrol arrived to reinforce the besieged. These 32 English miles were run more than marched.